And I want to welcome you here to a very unusual event. Um, you're going to hear tonight two legends and one legend in the making. Um, you probably, um, uh, let's say, Darius Talai, professor now, the head of the music department in Tehran University, has been the, one of the first Iranian classical musicians to perform widely outside of Iran, living in France for many years, and uh, a great authority and in, the, in the tradition, in the lineage of Iranian musicians. And uh, you will hear Ali Jihad Rassi, who I don't know who has done more for the study and appreciation of Arab music internationally than Ali Jihad Rassi, uh, who is, as you know from yesterday, those who came yesterday, a great scholar and an outstanding musician in several genres of Arab music. So uh, they've been well known for, for decades. I know that many of you here in the audience already know their names or know their work or know them personally. And uh, we're beginning the program with uh, the youngest, the legend in the making, I would say, with uh, Munir Nuratin Beken, who is, uh, again, in the lineage of the great masters of Turkish classical music, of Ottoman music, as well as Western music. He's a composer and a virtuoso on the oud, also teaching now in UCLA, Los Angeles. And uh, we're, the structure of the evening is simply three mini performances of the three uh, master musicians. And at the very end, you'll hear a very short performance where the three of them are um, playing together. They're, as you will understand, the, these three traditions, the Arab, the Turkish, and the Iranian, are related but different traditions. So um, you'll hear the separateness and the distinction of each, of each tradition and how these musicians can also play together. So please, I enjoy the evening.
I started my performances with a, uh, an improvisation, taqsim, in the Makam Mahur. And then I played a couple of traditional pieces from the Turkish classical music repertoire. One Peshrev, uh, Mahur Peshrev, and then another one in the same Makam, Mahur Samai Sasamaisi. I will continue my performance with a, a dance tune from the Aegean. Semirna Izmir. Uh, it's a <clears throat> sort of Greek Turkish dance, Sirto. Um, uh, Zeybek, I'm sorry, it's a, it's a Zeybek. Um, this is in the Makam Hijazkar, uh, the famous Yajivar Zeybek.
the final piece actually is a short improvisation in the Makam Nehaven, and I will play the, the Sassama, I see, by um, Mesut Jamil, who was the son of legendary Tamburi Jamil Bey.
that I am going to play with is called setar and I'm going to play Avaz Esfahan. It's, a, it's an improvisation and some pieces, uh, improvised pieces and some gushe uh, from Avaz Esfahan. <coughs> Thank you. 
Jihad Rasi will be performing on the Bozuk, on the Nai, and on the Mizwich. Well, good evening. I'll try to begin with uh, the beginning with the performance on the Nai, the reed flute. I'll be playing an improvisation. Then I'll weave in a traditional piece, the tune of a Mawasha, uh, the Mawasha usually associated many people with Moorish, medieval Moorish music, Spain.
Oh, the next piece I'm playing, uh, really, again, another improvisation, but played on another instrument called the buzuk, instrument that I played for since I was a kid, practically. And uh, things start with improvisation, then I'll weave in another traditional tune. Thank you. 
playing a folk instrument that's used in Egypt mostly, but became very popular throughout the Arab world in some ways. And uh, it's called the Kawala. It's also made from reed and played the same way as, as the Nai. It has a very breathy sound. That's why it has been very well appreciated, used quite a bit these days. Oh, there are a lot of tunes on nostalgia when, you know, just remember uh, where I was born back home, going back to this part of the world, and uh, some tunes come to my mind. Just when I was practicing a little bit, one tune came to my mind, and I'll just play it. It's a short piece.
also speaking of nostalgia, I composed a tune that sort of evokes the festivities that we witness when we go to villages and see people folk dancing. And I composed a tune and I found instrument too that seems to suit that tune and I'm, I'm using a kind of whistle type of instrument you hear in Irish music. So, but it works. I think for the finale, I'll play on the, on the Mijwiz, folk instrument. It's uh, becoming rare to hear it, but it's a very peculiar instrument. Uh, when you play it, you practice a technique called circular breathing. And circular breathing is a way of playing where you can hold the, the tone indefinitely, because you're really using, you're breathing your nose it's like the bagpipe, you know, when I land out of air, I inhale through my nose, fill my lungs quickly so I could continue the cycle. It's called circle of breathing. I always think I'll stand up for this one.
Thank you so much. It's not that, it, <laughs> it's not as bad as it looks. <laughs> I think uh, we now comes time when we do something together. This idea is, uh, just came up just about 24 hours ago. Uh, so it's experimental, so, uh, but we thought that uh, there's so much in common, um, as uh, Professor Feldman said, between these three traditions. And uh, not only that, but we've had so much in common among ourselves, because we really were talking and we have enjoying all these talks and said, why don't we try to play something? And there's some, some uh, modes, kind of co very comparable actually, and we found a common, some common grounds for us to play together. Uh, quite a bit of it is improvised, so we'll see how it goes.